speeding up keystroke injection payloads for your USB rubber ducky using the Detect Ready extensions, this time on Hack 5. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen, and on this dose of Technolust, I am digging into ways that you can optimize and speed up your payloads and I'm going to continue as I've been doing to modify this fun little prank payload that we've been working on, the Caps Lock LED Blinker payload that was originally developed by Atomic ZSEC using a stager and now we've actually reduced it down to do it in line or without a stage as it were. And I would like to continue on to improve this payload and show you through example some of the best ways to get just the most out of DuckyScript 3.0. So I'm here in Payload Studio 1.3 at time of recording, and I want to just show off one little bit that you've probably seen in hundreds of payloads, in almost all payloads, and that is quite simply after we have, you know, done our remarks, our comments here, and in this case we've got set a define. Most every payload before we start injecting keystrokes, and if you look at this one, it's you know it's it's your typical open the Windows Run dialog with GUI R, and then start injecting some PowerShell. Cool, right? Nothing wrong with that. But we always do this delay 2,000. You know, sometimes we'll do delay 3,000. Sometimes it's delay 1,000. Why are we delaying? What is up with this delay? And the reason is. Because, and, and this goes back to the original USB rubber ducky in 2010, the landscape of computers were much different then. We had a lot of like old Windows XP boxes, you know, with like Intel Celeron chips, just slow computers. And the USB rubber ducky was very naive, the very original USB rubber ducky, not like the new one with DuckyScript 3.0. So we would always just be putting in a very conservative delay so that it gave the computer, the, the target, you know, what we're plugging that USB rubber ducky into, a chance to enumerate the new keyboard that is the USB rubber ducky before we start injecting keystrokes to it. And because you don't know what you're going to encounter on a pen test, you know, you've, you're doing a physical and you're going into the building, you, you don't know, they got, might have really old systems. And so every system takes a different amount of time to recognize USB rubber ducky and be ready for those keystrokes. And so to err on the side of caution, we would always put a very long delay and that just became the norm. But when you look at a payload like this, we're, we're literally just injecting, you know, maybe 150 characters of PowerShell into the run dialog. That, you know, delay 2000 is half the time it takes you to inject this. This would otherwise be a two second payload, but we threw in two unnecessary seconds at the beginning. And I say unnecessary because for most modern targets, they don't need two or three seconds to enumerate the USB rubber ducky as a keyboard and accept keystrokes from it. So we're gonna go ahead and do something more intelligent now that we have the power of DuckyScript 3.0 with its you know conditions and logic and all the, all the other fun stuff. And that is to say, we're going to use an extension. As you remember, we introduced extensions with the Bash Bunny years and years ago and brought that concept to the USB rubber ducky where right in Payload Studio, you can just start typing extension as I'll do here and it will auto complete all of these awesome extensions that you can go ahead and use. So we can see here, we've got a detect ready, a XFIL auto EOF detect. We've got a hello OS. We've got all of these different extensions that you can use and they're all nicely commented. And all you have to do is select one and hit enter and it's added to your payload. You'll notice that the line number here goes from 10, 11, 34. What just happened? Well, inside of this payload, is all of the good stuff that Detect Ready is going to do. So let's go ahead and dive into this particular run. All right, Detect Ready, it's version 1.0. The usage is the extension runs in line, so it runs right here. You don't have to call it like a function. Place it at the beginning of your payload uh, as a dynamic boot delay. So it's going to dynamically change how long the USB rubber ducky is going to wait after boot to start injecting. So, um, we can actually dig into the code and, and see what it's doing here is, you know, there's a response delay of 25 milliseconds, an iteration limit of 120. So multiply those together, you've got a maximum delay of 3000 milliseconds. 
and it's going to go ahead and wait until we get confirmation from caps lock that we actually have uh, keystroke injection access to that system and this is really cool because it means that we as the usb rubber ducky being able to tell the lock state of the different keys caps lock scroll lock and num lock it's able to determine whether or not as it's injecting those keys, if it's hearing the echoes or whatever, the keystroke reflection back to it, it can know it has positive confirmation that that key was accepted by our target. So now we can say, okay, cool. There's no reason to continue delaying any additional milliseconds after that. We can go ahead and just start injecting our keystrokes, do our fun PowerShell, whatever it may be on our target. And here's the cool thing it's going to vary by system, but if we actually go over to, you know, here we are in Payload Hub, uh, taking a look at the original uh, Caps Troll payload this is based on, but uh, if we actually go over to the product guides on our website and come down here, there's a ton of these. Uh, if we just go over to the USB rubber ducky ones and take a look at Detect Ready. This is a full, you know, uh, gu uh, guide here that is going to explain to you, you know, the heritage of why we would, and what I just told you about delaying for 3000 milliseconds, how we can work smarter using this, uh, this technique and using this uh, extension. And so it really dives into how this extension works, but we can actually see it in action. Here's Windows 10. It usually takes only 25 milliseconds before we can go ahead and start injecting keystrokes, which is pretty cool. Here it is on Kali Linux. Uh, in this case, it was a, you know, a Dell XPS machine and it only took 100 milliseconds. Here's an old Windows XP machine. This is actually my Dell EPC, uh, you know, from, gosh, uh, 2007, and it took 425 milliseconds. Another iteration, it took 400 milliseconds, but about 400 milliseconds for those different, uh, you know, operating systems to detect our ready state and allow us to inject keystrokes. So if you want a very simple way to make one small tweak to your payloads and make them run faster, all you have to do is replace that initial delay 2000 or delay 3000 that you typically put at the top of your payload and replace it with this extension and you will get all of those benefits of being able to figure out when your target is ready to accept keystrokes and you can just delete that and now when we run this payload, it's gonna run so much faster. I hope you enjoy that tip. Uh, and once again, I you know, highly recommend you go and check out the guides at hack5.org and go and check out the amazing payloads that you'll find in the repository over at payloads.hack5.org. There are a ton in Payload Hub. That's also where you can submit your own payload and uh, get in on the awards for this year. So. Just a little encouragement there. I can't wait to see what you come up with using this extension. And once again, with that, I'm just going to remind you to trust your Technolust. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and pen test products at hack5.org.